Hello all, welcome back to another tutorial. I'm gonna be teaching you how to use VA Synth. You can use this for multiple different games like Skyrim, Fallout, and a whole bunch of other non-Bethesda games as well. So disclaimer before we start, I do not fully know how to use this mod. Um, I'm basically gonna show you everything that I know about it. And I do know enough to enjoy this mod very much so, you know, to use this fe the features and you know, use it as a modder's resource, okay? So if there's anything that, you know, I missed over or anything that I'm doing wrong or I could do be better that you know of, just let me know down in the comments below. All right, so yeah, this thing could be a little bit intimidating at first. I'm gonna try to walk you through it to the, to the best of my ability. So the first thing you wanna do, obviously, is you wanna download this and, you know, put it in whatever folder or location that you want. And then we're simply going to open the executable. Okay, so check it out. Right here in my download section, I have it right here. Uh, VA Synth, I put it in its own folder right here. Now, in the VA Synth, I have a bunch of the voices that I downloaded. On the page, you can download the different voices. And actually, let me show you real quick. Okay, so for example, back on the mods page, you come over here to files, and it will have like a whole bunch of AI generated voices. So, like Adril, Alduin, uh, Ancano. Uh, characters like that it's really nice because you could type whatever you want and then you know it'll speak those words with this character's voice so this is a really good tool for making memes and stuff like that so basically what you want to do is download a voice of your type and this works for like so many different games so i could type in va and uh f and v for fallout new vegas now i could go over to fallout new vegas right go over to files and here's all the different characters. Arcade Ganon, Benny, Caesar, Cass of uh, Rose of Sharon Cassidy, you know, all those characters. And um, pretty much when you download this mod, you have to get it from Special Edition, right? You get the Special Edition, VA Synth executable, and then you come to the different files like Fallout New Vegas VA Synth, Fallout 3 VA Synth, and then you download the voices, all right? Okay, so for example, I have, and I'm going to keep scrolling back up because 9 is my high key. All right, so VA Synth, you open this up, and then you open up the executable. You scroll down here like this. Okay, now, usually what you would do is you would grab your voice like this. Uh, which one did it not use yet? Um, I think I have them all in here. But you would grab the, the zip file, right? And you would drag it in here and just drop it in here. Now, that's what it says on the description page. Now, for me, it did not work that way. So what I had to do, okay, was I would go into VA Synth, and then I would go to Resources, and then I would go to App, and then I'd go to Models. And then right here, you find whichever game that you're trying to use, like the character's voice. So, for example, I downloaded a Mr. House voice. So, I'm going to go into the Fallout New Vegas folder. I'm going to go back to my downloads real quick. And I'm just going to grab this Mr. House from this zip file right here. So, uh, resources, app, models. And then you see Fallout New Vegas. And then here's all the house. Uh, stuff right there. So I'm gonna drop that in like that Close the zip file. You don't need it anymore. And then I'm gonna go in here like this now this icon right here Is how you switch games. So Mr. House is from Fallout New Vegas. So I'm gonna click this I'm gonna scroll down to Fallout New Vegas like this and Then I'm just gonna click out now. It says New Vegas now You can see that none of the the house voice that I just added is not appearing here So what I usually do is I just close the app and then I reopen VA Synth. So I'm going to reopen it. And then when I reopen it, as you can see, Mr. House's voice is right there. So let's say I want to use Mr. House's voice for something. Uh, I already have some profanity right here because I was making some Mr. Gutsy dialogue. So for example, you'll type whatever you want. Like I'll say, hi, I'm. I, I usually don't like to use I'm. I usually like to use I am because it sounds more clearer on the AI voice. So, hi, I am Mr. Well, I'd spell it out like this, because it just makes it better. Rather than type in mr. dot, I t actually spell Mr. House. 
okay so after you type in what you wanted to type in you hit generate voice uh, why is that not working oh click click oh excuse me ah oh, forgot click on mr. house hit load model first there we go after it says load model then you hit generate voice and then you can play the sample after it loads hi I am mr. house Oh, uh, that wasn't really a good one, <laughs> but that's pretty much how it works. And if you don't like it, you can switch it up. If you do like it, you can pick keep sample. And then right there, there's your sample and you can pretty much open this folder right here, which will, you know, open the file location. And then you could pretty much drag and drop these voice lines and drop it into whatever folder you need to generate voices for like, you know, custom mods and custom voice campaigns and things like that. Um, these tabs right here, you can change the pitch and things like that. So remember what I said at the beginning of this video, I don't fully understand how to use this mod. So there probably is a better way to make them say, hi, I'm Mr. House in a clearer manner, but I don't know how to do it. It's probably something with, you know, adjusting these different sliders and stuff like that. And, uh, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. You know, if you don't like the voice that you have, you could just simply just delete it out like that. And, um, yeah. If you want to switch games, just hit that top button right here, select your different game, have your stuff right here. All right. So uh, that's pretty much how you use VA synth. Like I said, if there's anything that I missed, you know, something that you can help me to improve my knowledge of this tool so I could make better voiced NPCs with the mods that I'm currently making, just let me know. So I hope this guide helps you. If it did, please leave a like on this video. And also remember to support me by subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. I also have a Patreon if you want to help and support me there. Or you can do so with YouTube Super Chat. So, once again, thank you all for watching. I'm out. I'm going to leave the link for this mod in the description below. And I will see you later. Peace.